Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a fresh video today for you from Fresh Bikes. Uh, today I'm gonna answer the age old question. Is bigger better? Let's go. For the last nine months, I've been riding a lightweight e-bike, the Fluid VLT, which is Norco's brand new lightweight e-bike. But today I've decided to do something different. I'm gonna try something bigger and maybe it's better. Let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Range VLT. 180 mil travel front, 170 mil travel rear, full power, big bike, ready to tackle some big mountains. So recently, our family moved from Maple Ridge, British Columbia, out to Chilliwack, BC. And so the type of terrain that I'm gonna be riding has definitely changed. Uh, the terrain here in Chilliwack is big. There's no other way to put it. So the two reasons that I wanted to switch over to a bigger bike were uh, the fact that first off just the sheer vertical here in Chilliwack is a lot higher than what I'm used to riding in my home trail network in Maple Ridge and there's really no place out here like Thornhill where I could just rip a bunch of short laps and loops. Uh, everything here is bigger, taller, and uh, higher. So that was reason one. And the other reason that I wanted to try a bigger bike was purely for more suspension travel. I was finding that the rides I was doing out here in Chilliwack on my Fluid VLT were uh, a little undergunned as far as suspension travel goes. Uh, 150, 140 was good for some stuff, but I was finding that if I really wanted to push myself in the bike, a little more travel would be a good thing. Thus, the Range VLT enters the conversation.
Okay, so I just did a first quick lap. Bed in the brakes, make sure everything shifts, moves up and down the right way. No near weird noises. Good news, I think uh, the bike's running sweet. Okay, so a couple of quick first impressions switching back to a full power e-bike after nine months of a lightweight mid-power uh, e-bike. First off, whoa, 85 newton meters of torque. I forgot what that felt like. Definitely uh, significant and noticeable difference in just the power in the climb part of your ride. So as you can see, I'm climbing lots of fire roads here in Chilliwack. Uh, second thing I noticed is, wow, uh, 180 mils of travel and 170 in the back versus 150, 140. Huge difference in how that smooths out the trail. This RockShox suspension, the Zeb and the Vivid, holy, no joke, legit suspension technology happening. Pretty impressive. Uh, third thing I noticed is how awesome the high pivot suspension is for smoothing stuff out. It is super impressive going downhill, of course. Tons of uh, grip, control, it smooths out everything, just feels super plush. Uh, you really have to try it to believe it. And secondly, climbing in single track how much traction and grip it gives you. It is impressive, up and down. So, yeah, those are my three big takeaways right out of the gate. So back at the truck, just finished up my first ride on what will now be known as Big Perp, affectionately, Range VLT. My quick takeaways, is bigger better? Yes. More travel, more power, more suspension, more grip, more everything. Okay, so I'm back at home, finished up the ride, got big perp on the charger on the work stand, charging away, and uh, here's my quick thoughts on the break-in ride on big perp, uh, aka the Range VLT. First off, uh, suspension performance is very impressive. 180, 170 for sure should give you a pretty comfortable ride, but I think the combination of the new RockShox uh, Zeb with Buttercups, the new Vivid Air, and then the high pivot uh, suspension platform combined to just give an amazing, amazing plush feel coming down anything. I felt like I could just plow through anything regardless of what was in front of me. Uh, second thing that was a big takeaway was switching back to the uh, 85 Newton meters of torque from 55 Newton meters of torque that was on the fluid VLT. That is definitely noticeable and impressive, particularly on the climbing, you know, uh, that kind of power on this bike puts uh, big hills and steep fire roads to short work. So very impressive indeed. Um, and those were my two biggest takeaways right out of the gate. So suspension and power. So is bigger better? I'm going to go with yes. Now I kept the bike pretty stock to start. Uh, the only thing I changed was the saddle, but I think I'm going to make a few tweaks and changes on the bike uh, to kind of personalize it, customize it, and make it a little bit more my own. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but until then, thanks for hanging out, checking this video out. Uh, go back, you can check out some of my other videos in the links uh, below, maybe, or above. I don't know how you do that yet. 
but uh, I've got some videos on other e-bikes and other riding areas. But yeah, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. You.